Welcome to First at Four. I'm Grant Sweeter. Here's a look at today's top stories as of 4 p.m. Five more South Dakotans have died due to COVID-19, according to the latest results from the State Health Department. That brings the total number of deaths to 198. Health officials also confirmed 389 new coronavirus cases. To read about the latest on COVID-19 in South Dakota, visit the coronavirus page on Kelloland.com. Two people are behind bars today after a man was stabbed in Minnehaha County Wednesday morning. Investigators say the victim was found just east of Hartford. Authorities say the victim was riding in a car with a woman. When she stopped the car, a man reportedly came out of the trunk and pulled the victim out of the vehicle. Investigators say the man hit the victim with a bat and stabbed the person. Both people were charged with robbery, aggravated assault, and possession of a controlled substance. It's going to be a very busy day for election officials in South Dakota as they start sending out absentee ballots. Friday is the first day of absentee voting in the state. In Minnehaha County, the auditor's office already had 23,000 ballots ready to be mailed out. We'll have more on this story tonight on Kelland News at 5. High school football players are taking to the field this Friday for another week of matchups. You can watch two full games on Kelland.com on Friday. At 5 p.m., O'Gorman takes on Lincoln in the Kelland Game of the Week. Kelland's Grant Sweeter will have play-by-play -play of the action. At 7 o'clock, you can watch another game as Madison plays Brookings, also streamed on Kelland.com. From the Capital News Bureau in Pier, South Dakota's 911 Coordination Board heard Friday that the new system's ability to receive emergency text messages should be ready by year-end. Mariah King, administrator for the state program, said some 911 call centers have started testing and her office has requested wireless carriers to start preparations. Texting will be a significant addition because people can use it when they don't have cell service or aren't able to speak because of a disability or in a dangerous situation where they don't want someone else to hear it. You can read more on this story on Kelloland.com. Scroll down in the story to see the latest update from the Kelloland Live Doppler HD Storm Center. That's first at four on this Friday afternoon. I'm Grant Sweeter. For the latest updates, download the Kelloland News app. Thank you.